All right, thank you, Tony. And with all this rain, police are urging people to slow down and watch for water on the roads. Meteorologist Pete Mangione is checking conditions right now from the Pinpoint Weathermobile. He continues our live team coverage. Hey, Mike and Shannon, we're actually driving into that uh, second band of rain that Tony was just talking about. Now, traffic is moving okay, you know, probably the speeds is what you'd expect on a typical evening commute. Northbound, which you can see uh, on the uh, opposite side there, that's a little bit slower. And the rain has picked up quite a bit, bit here in the past five minutes as we drive into this band of rain. Um, in terms of hydroplaning, we did see a lot of that on the drive through East Providence over to 195. Here on 95 itself, not too many puddles showing up right now and that's simply because at least in the short term we haven't seen those heavy bursts of rain in the past 15 to 20 minutes and it's not really uh, you know ultimate amounts that make a difference you can handle an inch of rain through an entire day but it's when you get the half an inch one inch amounts in a short amount of time and say uh, 15 20 minutes that's what we're watching out for the potential of to perhaps occur over the next several hours. So we'll keep an eye on the roads. We'll uh, be traveling around Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts and have more updates. Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Tony. And Eyewitness News is out on the roads now. Meteorologist Pete Mangione is driving along and live at 5. He showed you the conditions on Route 95 in Cranston, and now he's uh, continuing his drive down south. Pete continues our pinpoint weather team coverage with more on the conditions out there. Pete, how's it looking? Hey, I tell you what, we're passing through now the uh, Coventry West Greenwich area and raining a little bit harder than when we were on the air about half an hour ago. We're certainly running into the uh, thick of that heavier band of rain that Tony was talking about. I am seeing a little more in the way of puddles on the side of the road, so definitely uh, we have to be mindful of hydroplaning. Not too bad right now, though. You can see on the sides of the road we're seeing a few puddles here and there. And I was talking to uh, Dave, my photographer, about the wind. He says so far as steering wheel, not too much of an issue controlling it. When we get in these situations, sometimes these heavier bands of rain, when they get really heavy, can actually drag down the stronger winds, those stronger winds just a few thousand feet in the air above us. So sometimes it's those heavy downpours which can bring down those gustier winds. But so far, so good in terms of winds. And you can see right as we're uh, ending this live shot, the uh, rain now really starting to pick up. So definitely uh, take it slow out there for the rest of the evening. We're going to be back at 6 around a different part of Rhode Island and give you an update on the rain there. For now, meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Tony. Well, as your Tony just mentioned, tonight's heavy rain is making things tough out there for drivers. Here's a live look now. This is 95 in, down in Hopkinton, where the exit one off ramp on the southbound side was briefly closed for about an hour because of some flooding, but it's since reopened to traffic and things look dry right now. Meteorologist Pete Mangione has been tracking trouble spots all afternoon. He continues our Pinpoint Weather team coverage live with the Pinpoint Weather Mobile. Hey, Mike and Shannon. Well, right now we actually just passed the exit uh, for Coventry and West Greenwich. We're actually due north on I-95. And things not too bad here right now. We were going the opposite direction about half an hour ago, and the rain was definitely uh, coming down harder. And if you look on the sides of the roads, no big puddles, at least right now. And, you know, rainfall is all about what have you done for me late, lately. I heard Tony mention, you know, between one and two inches widespread today. Certainly, we probably had that where we're driving right now. But if you can get a 10 or 15, 20 minute period where the rain stops, that's when a lot of the puddles can recede rapidly. So that's why, at least here on 95 North, the uh, roads in pretty good shape. Now, we are on the uh, edge of the precipitation, so it's possible as we continue to head north and west on 95 back towards Providence, we encounter some uh, heavier batches of rain. Uh, but for now, doing pretty well here on I-95 North. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.